guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a first impression on the new Jouer foundations. I recently got a PR package from them with three out of six with three new boxes and I really want to show you guys I already tried all of the lip products because they asked me to be their lip model um, so I already got those I think over a month ago and I already swatched everything um, on my Instagram I will post every single swatch so if you want to see that follow me on Instagram but for today I'm just going to do a first impression on the new foundation okay first I want to show you guys all the boxes I got so this is the first box and in this box are the new lip glosses and also the new longwear lip creams all of these on the top are the lip creams and all of these bottom ones are the sheer pigment lip glosses and they also launched this full range of lip liners and i don't think you guys will be getting this flyer but if you are an influencer and are on their pr list these are my lips on the little flyer for the lip glosses okay then moving on to the big box with foundations so this is the box here you can see the new foundation brush and all of these shades and there is also a new eyeliner in the shade nude and then on this side are all the foundations as you can see there are 17 shades definitely am in the fair light um, range so i'm gonna grab all of these shades and then swatch them on my skin and then pick the right one on this side i'm starting with all of the lightest and these are the darkest in the fair light range So the first one is called Alabaster, then we have the shade Sand, moving on to Shell, then we have the shade Porcelain, this also is a pretty good match, and then lastly we have the shade Sand. So as you can probably see, it's the second shade is definitely best for my skin tone. This one is going to be too light for me and also a little bit too pink, um, maybe later on in the winter that this shade will match very well but for now it is too light for me then if I blend out the um, shade shell you can see that that one matches pretty good and all of the rest of the shades are definitely too dark this one is way too orange this one is way too beige and then porcelain could be a very good match in the summer so i want to give this foundation a fair shot so i'm going to do the same as i normally would i'm going to use a primer i'm going to use the professional around my nose and then i'm going to use the jouet primer on the rest of my face because i figured it's jouet so it should definitely go with the primer um, but first i'm just going to apply a little bit of the professional to my t-zone So now I'm taking the Jouer Anti-Aging Moisturizing Primer. I also really like the matte primer, but I believe that this finish is a little bit of a soft matte. So I figured I'd go with a moisturizing primer. So as I said today, I'm going to use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Gram Foundation. This one is matte oil free and I'm using the shade Pearl. In the PR package also is this teardrop shaped brush. I never use a brush with my foundation, but for the sake of getting those two together, I'm going to use the brush on this side and then the beauty blender on this side of my face. So usually I take about four to five pumps for all of my face because I really like a full coverage foundation. Um, just with swatching on my skin, I saw that a little goes a long way. So I'm going to start out with two pumps on the back of my hand. So this is what the foundation looks like. You can definitely see that it is running down. So I'm just going to dip this brush in. I'm just going to apply, apply it to my face. Okay, so I can definitely see that it has a lot of coverage. I can also already tell you guys that I don't like the brush. But that is just me. I just don't like to use brushes for my foundation. I can already see that it is streaking. Um, which I don't like, obviously. I do like the teardrop shape. So you can really get underneath those eyes. And on the sides of the nose. But as you can see, I just dipped in my brush. 
I have most of the foundation still left on the back of my hand, but a little goes a long way. Okay, so the brush also is pretty easy to use around the brows. I just put all the foundation in my hair. I'm definitely gonna go back in with my beauty blender to fix any mistakes. I still have a lot of foundation on the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna see how long two pumps take me. Um, with the beauty blender, it's definitely less pigmented. But also it looks way more natural. That was actually all 42 pumps. So I'm gonna apply one more pump on the back of my hand. Okay, maybe it was too little product to give any coverage because now it gives me a lot of coverage. I can definitely say that I like the um, Beauty Blender side better because it gives more of a dewy finish and also I just like how it applies way better and I feel like the foundation doesn't dry as fast because on the brush side I had the feeling that I needed to apply the foundation pretty fast because it was drying pretty quickly. Ooh, I definitely love this foundation. Okay, so I do like to brush to blend down my neck. Um, okay, so zooming in on my skin. So the brush side is definitely more full coverage than the other side. Um, of course, the Beauty Blender sucks up a little bit of the product. So you can really see that this is full coverage. Um, Shade-wise, it looks very good on my skin. It matches my neck pretty good. So I'm really happy with that. And on the Beauty Blender side... I feel like it gives more of a natural sheen still on my cheekbone and on this side it's really flat and matte. The foundation dries pretty quick and is very liquidy. It looks very very stunning on the skin. Okay, so let me feel. I think if I let the foundation sit for about a minute or two, it will definitely dry down and need no setting with any powder. I don't really know what to say. It is definitely a very, very good foundation. I love the coverage. I love um, the feeling of the foundation. It is definitely very, very lightweight. Only downside, maybe, is that it gives a little bit more texture around the nose area and that it dries very, very quick. So you have to work fast. Um, but anything else i really really love this foundation and i'm not saying that because they asked me to be their lip model if i hated the foundation i would definitely tell you guys um i'm not being sponsored they just sent me the foundation and all of the other products um which i'm very very grateful for but um free products or money definitely does not change my opinion about a product yeah i i don't know what to say else i really love those um wear tests that a lot of youtubers do but unfortunately i cannot do it today because it is 12 o'clock at night and i need to finish this video up go to bed because i need to get up really early in the morning i'm just gonna finish up my skin i'm not gonna tell you a lot about the products that i use but when i'm done applying all of the products i will definitely come back to you guys and talk about the finished results and that is the finished look with the foundation and all the other products i think it looks very very beautiful it also is a great base for um, all the other products I apply. I only set my T-zone and underneath the eyes because I just wanted to see what it looked like. I want to do a foundation review series doing the same for all kinds of products. But I think foundations is fun because I have a lot of foundations. I got this idea from my friend Faces by Coco. She's a Dutch YouTuber and one of my best friends. And she also does a foundation um series but she has oily skin so if you're dutch want to see that i will link her channel down below um i do have normal skin maybe i should have said that in the beginning of this video this will be the first of my foundation review series but yeah that is the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and also if you love this eye look i'm wearing right now I think it will go up the video after this one, so subscribe to my channel and put in the notification bell if you don't want to miss that video or any other future video. 
Um, so yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. I love you all so much and I will see you next week with a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.